Howdy folks, Brad Halbersman coming to you live from, well, not really live, I guess. Coming to you pre-recorded from the site of the 2011 Humans vs. Zombies Epidemic Battle Death Destruction. Here we are, none other than the flagpole where it all began. This is where a bunch of teams of humans gathered up as a massive horde of zombies poured from this flagpole and down the hill in front of me. Bring more to you in just a second. And here we have the path that started it all. As zombies poured down this path, heading towards that little tiny bridge there. All these tables had been set up as a great barricade to ward off the horrors that approached. And many a horror was it. Yeah, it's a beautiful day out too. It was a little cold that day from what I remember. There were many of us reporters here on site. The chaos and the carnage was great. There were some boats parked out along the waters. A couple zombies tried to swim across this path here. Oh boy, was it terrifying. I remember my friends standing here one at a time as they were gloriously cut down in the chaos and the carnage. This whole bridge was riddled with trip mines and bullets. Some of them had found their marks, some of them hadn't. But it didn't matter, as all that happened was the zombies kept pouring and pouring towards this horde. Finally, when the barricade collapsed, there was no hope. Oh, hey, look. A heron. Well, that's pretty. Back to the task at hand. Zombies poured over this horde. It was terrifying. We'll bring you more from the top of the hill. It was up this hill that our fearless adventurers climbed to try to get away from the great hordes. As you can see, the hill just keeps going up and up and up until they reach the mausoleum at the top. Some of these trees around here were uh, ripe for climbing as people tried to get away, but they couldn't. The zombies just kept coming, gnawing and gnashing their teeth. This looked like a perfect spot for someone to hide in the trees, but they weren't safe. No one is safe. Even down at the bottom of this hill, the last resistance gathered. There was about four people all tugged into a corner. My friend Noah, shout out to you, was injured in this battle. He twisted his ankle really rough as they all gathered amongst the swampy areas and the trees, trying to fend themselves. Then one went down, then two went down, and then finally, the third went down. Only one left, the brave, the mighty Schultz. We'll pick it back from his last stand. Again, this is the site of the last four as they fought their brave fight. Alas, it was not to be. It is a really nice day out though, man. Hopefully there's no wind issues on my microphone here, but probably. Here you have it folks, the gorgeous Lake Johanna, the final site of the last battle against the zombies. Schultz did what he can, what he could as he ran around this path on the outskirts of the island, zombies pouring after him like none other. He dropped his gun, he pulled out swords. He knew that his range was no good against the horde pouring at him as he swung and swung, chopping down enemy after enemy after enemy. Finally descending the hill on the mausoleum, he dove out into the water, where at least he could get some sort of reach on them with his extended katanas. But it was finally at this point, about right here, where one zombie leapt through the water.
over the back of another and cut him down in cold, zombie, murderous blood. Ooh, the legend, the 2011 Humans vs. Zombies. Well there folks, you have another great adventure in the great, exciting life of this diligent reporter who survived the hordes coming back to you and showing you the great myth, the great magic, the legend that was the year 2011. Whew, boy, that was intense, let me tell you, intense. Kind of like nomads out in the desert, intense. Mm. Well, thanks, folks. Once again, beautiful Lake Johanna. Here's truly come to you live. Not live. Pre recorded again from the great island at the University of Northwestern St. Paul. Catch y'all later.